Welcome back, Wastelanders. This is Blackfly, and we're going to do a breakdown of the intelligence perks for Fallout 4. This is pre-launch speculation, so things could change, but as it stands right now, this is what we think. Um, for the first perk under the intelligence chart is called VANS, the Vault Assisted Navigation System, and this is going to give you a GPS-style navigation to your nearest quest marker. So that brings up maybe maybe we won't have quest indicators um, in the main game until you unlock that perk which is interesting uh, I'm missing the explorer perk from previous fallouts that unlocked all the vault locations so maybe if you rank that up to max it'll uh, do the same thing where it'll unlock all the locations on the map so you can see everything there is to discover but we'll have to wait and see beyond that we got medic which is going to increase the effectiveness of stim packs and right away um, by rank probably 20 percent by rank maybe up to 80 to 100 percent um, so if you use a lot of stim packs and you tend to get really low health and you're not uh, hoarding them and you don't have much you want to make a, the most out of them that's going to be the perk for you next we got gun nut which is going to unlock the modding for rifles pistols and shotguns so the higher the rank the better the mods you can access with that um, hacker under that is going to unlock the ability to hack the advanced terminals. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to attempt to hack any terminal without that and then this is just going to make it easier or if it's actually going to be a lock where you have to have a rank X of hacker in order to even try to hack a terminal. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully that's not the case but if it is you definitely want to max that out early or max out lockpick because if it's like previous fallouts there will be a computer terminal and a door and maybe the door will be locked and you can lock pick that or if your skill isn't high enough you can hack the terminal to unlock the door and vice versa so you want to have one of those maxed out early on engineer is next um, and this is going to probably give you more uh, uncommon ingredients when you uh, scrap give you more uh, high value stuff like screws and such they talked about how all the objects can be converted into components so this will probably give you better components or it may allow you to construct more um, advanced settlement objects depending science under that is going to unlock mods for energy weapons or like high-tech mods based on rank um, so if you're into the modding you're going to want to definitely get gun nut and science going on pretty early chemist is gonna either allow you to create your own chems or possibly extend the effectiveness of those chems so like when you take a buff out or something maybe it'll last you know a little bit longer than if you didn't have that perk robotics expert if this is like previous fallouts it's gonna allow you to sneak up and turn off a robot character or any kind of synthetic character and it may actually give you a damage buff to robots and, and uh, synths so we'll see what that has to do I don't know if they're gonna allow you to control them like in the uh, the charisma perks where you can pacify and give orders this robotics expert may allow you to do something like that where you could take over the robot and order it back to your settlement fusion is a new one no clue this is a uh, maybe gonna allow you to harness nuclear power in some kind of way we'll have to wait and see but um, it may give you more radiation damage it, if you have uh, energy weapons it may allow you to do radiation damage or it may give you a little bit more power for those uh, your power armor because that's on a timer now it looks like it uses some kind of battery so maybe that has to do with that and then the top perk in the intelligence tree is called nerd rage and if this is traditional, it's going to be when your health gets below 20%, your strength is increased to 10, and you get extra damage resistance. Um, there was a leak of perks recently that says this may actually also slow down time, so it give you some kind of a bullet time effect while you're um, in your rage state, which would be pretty neat. So those are the intelligence perks. Let me know what you think. If I, you think I got anything wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comments there. Like and subscribe. And join me on twitch.tv slash blackfly303, November 9th at 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to start the live stream, and we're going to make it as nonstop as possible for the entire first playthrough. Thanks so much. Have a great night.